What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Best Kept Secret and I'm coming at you with the second episode of our Madden 25 owner mode with the St. Louis Rams. This is the preseason week number two and just some big stories in, around the league. Jacksonville has signed Nick Barnett and a bunch of other players have been cut and also a couple other players have been signed around the league and the Colts have acquired Brett Brett Kiesel from the Pittsburgh Steelers as you saw I did not want to acquire him because my goal this year is to get a very high draft pick and as you can see Buffalo added John Abraham and and there's a little uh, quick media the result of our media question and uh, yeah so a little bit more about what I'm going to do with this series I am definitely going to be building from the lines out and we do have those pair of bookend tackles which I talked about in the last episode and there will be some big changes made in this episode for you guys. As you see, we got some trade offers for our quarterback Sam Bradford, the 81 overall 20 or sorry, yeah, the 81 overall 25-year-old quarterback. And we have two very good offers on the table. I'm not going to trade him within the division, so Arizona is out of it. I don't want to acquire a player in a in a low-round draft pick, so those two other offers are out of it. So it's either between Oakland or New York. And since I want almost immediate help soon for Sam Bradford, I'm going to take this New York Jets offer of a second round pick in the 2014 draft. So we took that offer, accepted the offer. Now we got to go find ourselves a semi-decent starting quarterback. We do have Kellen Clemens on the roster, but I do not think he is a capable starting quarterback, especially if we want to uh, kind of groom a backup because we might be drafting or grabbing a quarterback in free agency. So let's go look in the free agents to see who we got. All right, so quarterbacks here. We got Thaddeus Lewis. You know what? We're just going to go up and sign him. I, I, uh, he's from Duke, and I believe he'll be more than a serv more than good enough serviceable backup. All right, so now that we have that situation figured out, you know what? We're going to see who we can possibly trade for, see if there's any uh, possible young backup quarterbacks. So we have John Skelton, TJ Yates, AJ, or sorry, BJ Coleman, Colt McCoy, Tyrod Taylor, who is interesting to me, but I don't want to trade from, and then a bunch of other guys who I would definitely not be interested in. And Scott Tolzing kind of got my interest there because it was weird that he started on the San Francisco 49ers. All right, so we're going to be looking back at uh, some other things again. <clears throat> and as we jump back into the screen, um, just recapping other top stories. And we're going to advance the week, I believe. Actually, no. I, uh, I have some big news to tell you guys. As this is just a little recap, and this is the second episode of the series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate the St. Louis Rams. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I'm going to relocate the St. Louis Rams, and and uh, next episode you'll find out uh, which city they're actually going to be going to. So make sure to catch check that out, and uh, make sure that if you want to keep the series going, remember to hit that like button, and also remember if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and we're going to advance the week here. And here we go in the next week. We surprisingly got the win over the Green Bay Packers, but remember, it is the preseason as we come up against the 1-1 one one Denver Broncos. And just a little recap of the top stories again. The Broncos have parted ways with Nosha Moreno. That would be a very, uh, that'd be a good back for us to pick up, maybe possibly in free agency or maybe next year. And Dexter McCluster, a slot back slash running back, has been released from Kansas City. And a couple injuries around the league, such as uh, Hyde first round pick Jonathan Cooper. And as you can see, our defense rattled Aaron Rodgers. He was uh, out of sorts, and I believe that said he threw four interceptions. Baltimore has re-signed Vontae Leach, and here we go. So now it goes to our cut day. I would like to cut down to 59 players, but I already know there's a bunch of players who I'm willing to cut anyways that will just not be sticking around with this team any longer. Two of them are running backs. Um, I'm going to keep all three quarterbacks, basically because you never know with injuries. And we're going to be cut cutting Terrence Ganaway from Baylor, the uh, second year man. And we're also be cutting uh, Chase Reynolds from Montana, the third year man. And we're gonna be cutting our backup fullback who's uh, very low overall from Nebraska. Cause I don't really see the need to carry two fullbacks on a roster unless I'm power running it. And we already have a very young uh, stable of wide receivers. So I, uh, I was going, I'm gonna cut the bottom two, Nick Johnson being one of them from Henderson State. And there we go, that's who we're going to run with. Tavon Austin, Brian Quick, Chris Givens, Austin Pettis, and Stephen Bailey. And there's no need to have five tight ends on the roster either, so we're going to cut two of them, because I believe in having three tight ends on the roster. They're very versatile, you can line them up all over the field, except, especially Derek Cook Jr. And you'll see in uh, future episodes, possibly a uh, top tight end coming out in this year's draft. 
So you never know. You could, if you add offensive weapons for a rookie quarterback, uh, hopefully he can make some plays next year. And as you can see, we do cut uh, center Tim Barnes because uh, we do not need three centers because we already have young center Barrett Jones who we're definitely going to try and groom to take over that starting spot. And I believe in keeping three off three offensive guards on either the left guard or the right guard spot, so that's what we're going to do. And as you can see, we do have a very low overall defensive end, Mason Brodeen, but we are not able to cut him because of injury. As you can see, our backup other defensive end, Eugene Sims, is injured. That's what we're rolling with on defensive line. And there's no reason to cut any of these linebackers because they all can develop into something decent. And since we signed Robert Sands, we do not know we do no longer need Quinton Pointer. So we are going to cut him, the second year man out of UNLV. And we're also going to cut Matt Giordano just be basically because of age and uh, talent level. He does not fit what we need. And we already have talented guys. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up for cuts. And uh, we're gonna uh, we have possibly uh, trade block and I don't want to trade for anybody yet so this has been Mr. Best Kept Secret I'm signing off guys and if you like the episode make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel I'll catch you guys in the next episode see you later YouTube